everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fix most publishing errors. So I just typed up a blog post at NameHero.com slash startup and I talk about how to fix um, this by disabling mod security. Uh, mod security is an open source web application firewall and it's built into our services to help protect your account. But sometimes if you're using WordPress, Zenforo, or other publishing software, you'll notice when you try to make a post, sometimes, not always, you'll get an error 500 internal server error. Nine chances out of 10, this is because it's tripping a mod security error. Now this can happen, especially if you like to type your blog post, your content in Microsoft Word or another text editor. Um, sometimes these text editors will insert ambiguous characters into your text without you knowing. And an example is like the um, like quotation marks or something. Um, and so then when you pub put them inside of WordPress and then you publish, the server looks at it like it's an injection attempt, like something malicious is going on and so that's why you get the uh, 500 internal ser server error uh, sometimes I've even seen the um, CSF firewall um, IP tables block you all together so there's that can happen um, so and yesterday I was chatting on Skype I noticed my blog post and one of my friends was having this issue over and over again who also happens to be a name hero customer and that that's kind of the catalyst behind this blog post is I wanted to get this out there so I could share it when people have this issue because I've um, experienced this for literally a decade now I know when I first graduated from college in 2007 um, when my pro wrestling website had a pretty complex CMS system that we had developed as we moved over to a cPanel web server though we kept having these issues um, it, 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 we had um, isolated it down to a couple different characters but for whatever reason it would cause this internal server error and of course we boiled down to it was mod security and, and I've seen this time and time again and I've trained our techs here at Name Hero to also look for that so uh, instead of spending hours trying to fix it um, you can simply disable mod security on your domain um, and we'll show you how to do this and then also if you don't want to disable mod security because mod security is beneficial um, if you do admi administer your server then you can disable the rule altogether now if you're on a reseller or a shared package unfortunately we can't disable the rule um, so we would just have to disable mod security on that domain so let me show you um, I'll go over here to the name hero main website I'm gonna log in which I'm already logged in so I'm just gonna click the logo to bring me to my client area I'm gonna click on cloud web hosting I'm going to click on my hosting package that's giving me the problem. I'll click log in to cPanel to single sign on. And then I'll just type in mod. And you can see it comes right up. Mod security. And then I can disable it right here. So mod security is enabled for all your domains. I click disable. Disable all. And now it is off. So now mod security is off. And sometimes this gets turned back on automatically. Um, and which is fine so if you have the issue again then you can go turn it back off and so if you don't want to completely disable it you can just disable it post your content and come back and turn it back on if you'd like um, so it's completely up to you um, this is the same error though that we see with the manage WP worker plugin many of you use the manage WP um, plug in to back up your WordPress sites um, and this is kind of a similar thing that it, it you have to disable mod security for in order for that to connect as well too so in my blog post, I put some instructions on how to do this, just to help you out if you don't want to watch this whole video. Now, again, if you do administer your server, for example, if you are on a VPS hosting package with us at Name Hero, you can go to Web Host Manager and Mod Security Tools, and you can actually pinpoint the exact rule that's causing the issue, and you can just disable that rule. Um, the main issue I've seen with that is sometimes there's multiple rules that cause the error, so you have to disable not only one, but multiple. So sometimes you may just find it easier to disable mod security altogether. And like I said, and then go ahead and publish your content and then come back and, and re-enable it. Um, I also offer some tips in this post that, um, you know, Mod Security X Web Application Firewall. Um, if you decide to disable it completely, you need to make sure that you're regularly changing your passwords. Um, so, and also using strong passwords. Please don't use password as your password. Don't use password one, two, three. Don't use your first and last name. Don't use simple stuff. You know, use strong passwords, capitals, lowercases, numbers, uh, special characters. And also keep WordPress and other CMS systems updated. So if you're using Zenforo or vBulletin, make sure that you update those as soon as an update comes out. I know it's a huge pain in the butt to do that, but it will keep your site safe and secure. Uh, same with the themes and the plugins. If a plugin or theme goes out 
outdated, um, you need to make sure you update it. Because a lot of times these developers, they'll issue an update when they find a, a hole in it. They, they find a security flaw. They'll issue the update and it's all kosher. But if you don't install it, then you're vulnerable. Um, so you want to make sure that you're doing that because that's um, you know one way to get your um, website in, in trouble. If you have any questions or need our team to help you out, we're more than willing to disable it for you or um, we can disable it while you publish your content, then re-enable it. Um, if you have a VPS, then we can go in and try to um, just disable the rules for you too. So feel free to reach out if you have any questions. But that's how you do it. This will fix 9 out of 10 of your publishing errors when you're getting that. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Though. Thanks a bunch, everyone, for using NameHero.com.